Welcome to Easy Sports Graphics 6, the number one graphics software for soccer. Working with Easy Sports Graphics is so easy that everybody is able to create the graphic that you see on the script and screen within minute to export it, e.g. to publish it in a book. That is the screen of Easy Sports Graphics with the menu, the object buttons, the toolbox and the field where you create and edit your graphics. Let's have a look at Easy Sports Graphics 6. For this reason, I click on New to get a clean field. Easy Sports Graphics comes with a huge selection of fields, e.g. perspective fields. Click on one of these buttons to select a field. There are also indoor fields, with or without lines, black and white or coloured, or those plain fields without perspective. I select this field. Let's create the graphic by and by. First, I select some cones. You find the cones under the button with the cones. When I click on this button, the tools of Easy Sports Graphics are being loaded into the toolbox with the cone highlighted. Besides, there are the indoor tools. But I am not interested in boxes, banks or air bodies. I want the cones. Here are the balls and the cones. I take a cone. Just click and drag it with the left mouse button pressed to the field. One, two, three, and add another three cones. I can move the cones if I want. When I click on a cone, a menu appears on its right or left. Here you see the cone, the size of the cone, namely size 9. Just click here to enlarge or to diminish it. You also may decline the cone. Or you can delete it. If you notice, aha, uh -huh, the cones are too big or too small, you can resize them all at a time. Therefore, you drag the mouse with the left mouse button pressed over the cones. Now they are all selected. And here in the preview, you see several cones. When I now click on plus or minus, I can enlarge or diminish them at the same time. I also could move them, either with the arrow keys on your keyboard or with the mouse. If I did not want the yellow cones but the red ones, I don't need to delete all the cones and drag them again on the field. But under the cones in the preview window, there are two arrows that allow me to scroll back and forth to screen the tools. And there are the red ones. When I click on some free space on the field, the tools will be deselected. The same way I handled the cones, I drag the players on the field. These are the buttons for the players, goalkeepers, coaches, linesmen and arbiters. I select the coaches and drag and drop this player. It's exactly the same as with the cones. When I click on the coach, I get this menu. I can enlarge or diminish the coach, decline him, and I can move him this way. At the lower right corner of the coach we have a small square. When I draw it, the coach becomes larger or smaller. I select size 9 and drop him here. To deselect him, I just click on some free space on the field. Now there are a coach and some cones on the field. To go on with or exercise, we come to the heart of Easy Sports Graphics, the players. There are nearly 500 players in Easy Sports Graphics without the goalkeepers, coaches, linesmen and arbiters. To not get lost, we classify them. There are two criteria. First, the direction in which they look or move. At the moment, we see all players that move more or less straight forward. Here are the players moving or looking to the left, players moving or looking to the right, and players that you see from the back. When you have selected a category, there is another kind of organisation. Here we have the standing players, running players, dribbling players, passing players, special shootings and players for coordination training. When I click twice on a category, the players of all directions will be loaded into the toolbox. 
I turn back to the players moving or looking straight forward. I want a player who is running. Therefore, I go to the runners and drag and drop this one. He is wearing a red shirt and white shorts. To change the colours, I click on the player and select the colours. Let's select a red shirt and white shorts again. I also can adjust the size, exactly like with the cones and the coaches. I can decline the player to make him more dynamic or slow. I could delete him with this button, and I could move him forwards or backwards. To demonstrate this, I move him right in front of the coach. To move him behind the coach, I click on to the back. And here he is, behind the coach. As this doesn't make any sense, I move him forward to the front, and then a little bit into this direction. If I notice that this is not the player I want, I can delete him and drag another one out of the toolbox. But I can always click on the forward or backward arrow to get similar players. I select this one. Next, I drag this player on the field. He already wears the same shirt like the previous, and he has the same size. When I want to enlarge both players, I drag the mouse over them, with the left mouse button pressed, and then enlarge them at once. I also can change the colour of their shirts at the same time, or decline them at a time. To deselect them, I click somewhere on the field. I drag more players on the field. This one, he gets a green shirt. And that one, which I drop here. I meanwhile put some more players on the field. Normally players do not just stand on the field, but they are acting. To show that they are doing something, we have these actions. Different arrows with different lines, bows, etc. I want to show that this player runs to this place. Therefore, I drag a running arrow and drop it here. I can turn the action here at the end, or at the top. The arrow is selected. I clicked on it, and now I have a menu. I can change the type of line here. I can change the top of the arrow. Or the line thickness. And I can change the colour. When I click somewhere on the field, the arrow will be deactivated. I get another running line, pull the end and the top to move it into this direction. To let the coach pass, I draw a pass out of the toolbox, pull at the end. The coach passes to this player. I click on a free place to deactivate the pass. Let's pass this player to that one, but the pass shall go in a bow. Therefore, I take this bow, pull at the end, at the top, and bring everything in a good shape. I can make a bow out of any other line by activating it. And now you need your keyboard. You press the control button, and keep it pressed, and then pull another point out of this point, at the end. At last, click on the field where you want the new point to show up. I also can pull a new point out of here. Click to make it count. You may change the line. If the coach was Superman, he could pass around the corner. Meanwhile, I deleted the super shot of Supercoach, and I want to show you a fantastic tool in this toolbox. It is here at the lower end of the toolbox. The extra fields. I drag this rectangle on the field. You will see very soon what happens. I drag this point, and I drag this point and this one. In the menu that shows up, I click on yellow, and now the space between the cones is highlighted. When I click on the extra field, I can edit it, e.g. I can move it to the back because, as you see, the running lines have become very light. That's because they are lying under the extra field. I move the extra field to the back and everything looks fine now. You may do some other clever things with this extra field. To show this, I take another extra field that I colour blue. And now I press, like previously with the lines, the control button and drag another point out of this point. I click so that it shows up. That way I can create different forms and not only rectangles or squares. 
Meanwhile, I dragged and dropped all players and some tools on the field, e.g. the balls that I need for my exercise. Now I want to put some text on the field. There are two possibilities to do this. One of them you find in the Actions toolbox. I drag the text tool on the field. Double-click to get it into it, e.g. Coach George. OK, when I deactivate the text tool, the text shows up here. If I want to edit the text, I double-click onto it. To delete a text, click on it and delete it with the Delete button on your keyboard. There is another very elegant possibility to put some descriptions to an exercise in version 6 of the software. We added the Tactics tools. Here are the well-known circles and triangles, and the circles with arms. Down here there are circles with numbers and alphabetic characters. Those circles with numbers and letters are excellent tools to label graphics. I drag this one out of the toolbox because this is my first action, and I colour it blue. Here we have a menu. I diminish the circle a bit and then drag a 2 to this place. The next circle automatically has the same size and colour like the former one, and a 3. At last I want to label the players, player C. I want the label in the colour of the shirts, and, as well, I want to enlarge it a little bit. I can go on with this until all my players are labelled. Player A in red. Now my graphic is ready and I should save it. Therefore, I click on Save and type a name for my graphic. The file type Easy Sports Graphics 6 will be selected automatically. Then finish with Save. That's it. When you have saved a graphic, you see up here, next to the software name Easy Sports Graphics 6, the given file name. Every file that you saved can be opened by using the Open button. I created several graphics that I can open here. After opening, you may edit them. You may change colours, sizes, everything you want to change. Normally, you need a graphic to publish it on the internet, or e.g. in a PowerPoint presentation, or in a book, etc. You cannot insert an original Easy Sports Graphics file in PowerPoint, Word, or the internet. You have to export it first with the button Export. When you click on it, you get the Export menu. With your graphic on the right, on the left, you select the export quality. Here are some settings that you may select, e.g. for the internet, screen presentations. You may select a small picture that will give a size of 320 times 240 pixels, medium size or a large picture. The pre-selections for print are here, with a higher resolution. Especially interesting are the advanced settings, where you may select or insert the width and height manually. I insert a smaller number, and you can see on the right how the part of the picture that will be exported changes. Of course, you may adjust the crop with the mouse. Like this, you just export a part of your graphic and not the whole thing. Press Save, then enter a file name, and now you can choose between PNG and JPEG. Well, that's it from my part. Further information, a PDF manual for download, further tutorials and a free demo on our website www.easy-sports-software.com www.easy-sports-software.com